In today's video, I'm going to give you a full guide on how to set up Luke's reviews for your Shopify store. Now make sure to watch the whole video because everything I teach you is going to be very crucial and without it you might mess up and do something wrong. So first of all, what we want to do is sign into our Shopify store like this. Then we want to go down to the apps here and go down to apps and sales channel, Shopify apps. Well, now we can type in Luke's. I'm going to hit here. I'm going to click here. I'm going to add app. So once we've done that, we're going to click install app. And that is going to be added to our store. So we can use Luke's for free and we want to do that for now. Cool. So First, they're going to get you to set this, set things up. You're just going to click continue. It says, what's your primary language? Do English or whatever language you want. Now, make it pop. Customize colors and layout to match your store's look and feel. So, pick your brand colors. Um, I would go black. For the star color, I'd go like green or something like that. But you can change it what you want. And then you want to go for the layout. Which one do you want? Now, personally, this really depends on your store type. If you've got like a one product store, this is going to be good. If you've got another kind of store, maybe something like this. So really, it's up to you to decide. Click continue. So next step, when should they ask for reviews? So what this means is that after someone buys something, Luke's going to send them an email asking them to review the product. So... You can say after one day, after 14 days. This depends. So if your product arrives with someone in three days, uh, maybe like f after five days, you can put a review. So really change this. So click continue. So what discount do you want to offer people for submitting photo and video reviews? This will encourage people to actually put a review. 15% is good, but change this depending on your store. Now you can do a referral program, um, meaning that if someone refers a friend to your store they will get a discount uh, they will get a um like a reward so they get like five pound if someone purchases this is good but there's better apps for this um you can display this if you want to or not i'm going to turn this off okay now cool we're ready to jump in so we can enter the admin panel here so there's a lot of stuff here to look at and i'm going to show you the reviews first of all so we can go to reviews here and this is going to be the general review place. So to start off, we kind of want to go and integrate it to make sure it's on our store properly. The way we do that is we want to go into our online store, go to customize, and then we need to go to the widgets thing on the left here. Well, this is add embeds. So we want to go here and find it. I can't actually find it, so that's fine. Let's go to here instead. We might be able to add blocks with it. Let's have a look. Yeah, so we can add blocks. So here are the different blocks we're going to be able to add. So basically, you can add these widgets to your store when you're ready. So we can add like the ratings widget, for example, here. Um, and you can see that's going to pop up. That's popping up there. Um, I can turn it off as well. Basically, what this is going to do, this is this is how you add them into your store. So now I'm going to show you how you can actually add the reviews to Luke's and how you can the different things you can do in that that way. So you want to go back to apps, go to Luke's, and let's go to reviews, and let's go to uh, import reviews. So there's a few ways you can do this. Let's say you want to import some reviews from AliExpress. You want to drag this up into your bookmarks tab here. So it'll look like this. Then we want to go to AliExpress. And we want to find the product that we're trying to sell. So let's sell, say we're selling this remote control shark. We can now click here, import to Luke's. And this is going to ask us which product we want to import these reviews to. So let's say how to ebook. Let's pretend that's the shark. So how many reviews do you want? 20 or 100? I'm going to put 100. So ratings, do you want all the ratings, five stars only, four stars and up? I recommend doing like four stars and up just so you have a couple like not as good reviews so it doesn't look as fake. What countries do you want reviews from? Now, usually it's best to do like United States, United Kingdom to keep it um, 
it make makes more sense because if you do Russian, the English can be really broken and will look weird and scammy. You can also hit fetch most recent reviews if you want to. You can put only reviews with photos if that's something you want to do, and you can import variation in, in variant information too. Now we can click preview and import here. Uh, it says no reviews matched. I think that's because there's not actually many reviews on this product. But if I go to another product that's got like lots of sales, I can find it. Okay, this boat, for example, I'll click import to Luke's. I'll select the product and I'm just going to click this one here. Okay, boom. So now it's going to ask us, do we want to import this one? Cool. I want to import. Check this one. Do I want to import? Yep. Basically, you want to manually go through and just import the ones that you think are good. And I'm going to say that's enough. I'm going to click finish importing. Import complete. Now I'm going to go back to the store um, and I can refresh it here. And that's the first way that you can add reviews. And if I go into here, I should be able to see the reviews. So look, re review collected. Um, here you go. So we can see that these are actually showing up for this product, which is pretty cool. Now, the second way we can import reviews is we can import from some apps. So if we have another app that we're using, we can export a CSV from those apps. So like judge me or Shopify reviews, we can upload the CSV into here. Now, another thing we can do is import from spreadsheet, which is really good. What you have to do is you have to make a copy of this spreadsheet here. And you have to put all the data in here. Now, the reason this is good is because if you want to import in bulk, so they also have instructions here, but what you want to put in here is the product handle. So you'd get the product handle from the URL. So if I was to go to my store, and go to a product. This here, how to ebook, is the handle. So I would copy that. I'd paste that in here. Rating, how many stars? Put five. Author, put the author. Put the person's email. Now, if you're doing bulk, you can just do that and just have bulk ones. The body, this is the text that the basically the review itself. The created that date, it needs to be in this kind of format here. And the photo URL, what you can do is upload a file and then copy the file link and have that as the URL for the photo. And then verify purchase, you can put true. Then after you filled this all in, you would export this, you share. You would export as, actually no, you'd go to file, you'd go to download. Download as CSV. And then you would come into here and you would upload this file. And that would automatically put them into Luke's like that. Now from here, you would have to manage them and you could bulk approve all of them or you could, uh, to make them go into a store. Now, something else you can do here is you can... Just fiddle around with all the basic, how everything looks in all of these settings, which is pretty nice. And you can change how, how everything looks for collecting reviews. Now, if I go back into my store here, I'm going to just add it to a page. Now, I've got two um, rating apps here. So ignore that there's two different things. But you can see the reviews are up here if I want to drag it down I can do that so I can put it under the title I can also go down here and see the actual reviews here itself and you can see they all look really nice and it just makes the store look a lot better and add a lot of trust now if you if you want to see how to make your product pages look a lot better I actually have a video on the channel about it and it'll talk about how to integrate these um, review apps and all that kind of stuff into it so it's a very good video to also watch now if you enjoyed this video and found it useful please be sure to like subscribe and comment down below that it helped thank you for watching